I'm Chris Kubalm. Thank you for checking out your local five weather forecast. We're dealing with wind going into Wednesday and some snow too. There's a wind advisor across most of the state of Iowa. Wind gusts are going to be up there as they build up through the day. 50 plus miles per hour, especially watching the strongest east of I-35 and north of I-80. So that'd be the northeastern quadrant of the state. That's where the strongest winds will end up being. Watch them as they kick upwards through the day. You see some of those numbers are very robust. 50 to 55 plus miles per hour, then easing up into Wednesday night. But those winds are troublesome in their own, but we'll have a few snowflakes flying along in those strongest wind gusts, and that may lead to some visibility disruption too. So keep that in mind on the travel scene, especially eastern Iowa for the snowflakes as those will fly. Here's future cast kind of coming in the back door here as this slow moving storm system still sending a little bit of activity our way into early Wednesday. This is the scene at five o'clock and you see snow east of I 35, some slushy sloppy accumulations. We'll watch the travel scene for you very closely. Again, the wind is bad enough, but then you have the snowflakes along with that wind can prove very troublesome. I do see some significant accumulation into parts of southwestern Wisconsin with just this disturbance as it does move through. Uh, net result of this uh, across uh, central Iowa is pretty minor in terms of the snowfall accumulation. But again, those two combined could be troublesome. Here's future cast in the long range. We'll get a couple of dry days with sunshine finally get, getting in here as things look a little bit more progressive. But as we do get into uh, Sunday, that next band of rain is trying to take shape. 33 degrees with the low for tonight. There's a rain snow mix in play in spotty areas, but more snow into the first half of tomorrow. 46 is all for the high. Those winds quite gusty, a limiting factor on that temperature rather significantly. So below normal readings there will pop back up, building up through the end of the week. I see a signal close to 60 degrees through the weekend. But that rain up play on Sunday, it just depends if we can get some pops of sun in here as we try to get into the afternoon. If we do, temperatures will have a chance of warming into the upper 60s, close to 70 early next week. At this point, I'm holding a favorable forecast for eclipse viewing across central Iowa, but no doubt we'll be watching that for you very closely as we roll towards the early stages of next week.